Hello everyone, I'm Josep Penago from Simulation Daily. While Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 has been available for a couple of months, there are many add-ons that have not received official compatibility updates. If you want to try these add-ons, you can do so simply by copying their folders to the community folder of MSFS 2024. Here is how you can find your community folders for bot simulators. Don't worry, I'll have them listed in the video description so that you can just copy and paste them on your own PC. Incidentally, everything you see in this video is using the Microsoft Store version of the simulator. You'll find instruction and specific folders for the Steam version in the description. I suggest pinning bot folders for to quick access so that you can find them with a single click going forward. Once you have identified bot community folders, you can simply copy the add-on you want from the MSFS 2020 community folder to the MSFS 2024 community folder. Once you've copied the folder over, or directly installed it into the MSFS 2024 community folder, you're done and the add-on will be recognized. Whether it'll work or not, that's a different story. Some do, some don't. You can also simply create a link from the MSFS community folder with apps like the awesome MSFS add-on linker, which I'll also include in the description. That way, you won't need to have two copies of the add-on on your drive. Third-party clients like Orbix Central are a little bit more challenging. As you can see, it doesn't let you bring up the list of MSFS 2020 products unless you have it installed. Of course, the easiest and cleanest way to get them to show is to simply have both simulators installed and copying the add-ons between the community folders or linking them as explained before. But what if you don't want to keep MSFS 2020 installed? There is a way to trick our Orbex Direct into thinking you have MSFS 2020, even if you don't. Of course, this isn't officially supported by Orbex or Microsoft, so as the usual disclaimer goes, you do it at your own risk. We won't take responsibility for any potential adverse effect. First of all, go into the Packages folder and create the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder spelled exactly as you can see in the description. Then, within it, create a local cage folder. Pin it to quick access temporarily. This is a dummy MSFS 2020 installation. Then go into the local cage folder of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and copy the usercfg.opd file. paste it into the, into the dummy local cage folder you just created and pinned. Now you're done. Remember to close Orbex Direct if it's still running in your tray, and then relaunch it. As you can see, now you can swap to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 product list. Every add-on you purchased for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 will be available to you. For additional elegance points, 
Since Orbix React is reading a copy of your user's cfg.opt file from MSFS 2024, it will install add-ons directly in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 community folder. You don't even need to copy them over. Please keep in mind that while this tutorial helps you gain access to your MSFS 2020 add-ons on MSFS 2024, there is no guarantee that it will work. Some do, some don't. Some are only partially compatible. For instance, the free type and scenery I used in this example displays correctly, but there is some minor overlap with the default autogen buildings. Some might even prevent your simulator from launching, and you'll need to remove them to repair the situation. And that's it for today. Remember that you can find all you need for the Steam version on top of the spelling of all the required folders in the video description. As usual, if you found this useful or entertaining, please like and subscribe. Comments are also very welcome. And don't forget to visit Simulation Daily regularly for gaming and simulation news, interviews, video content, and much more. Bye!